current studies are revealing that pesticides on our food is much more toxic than previously thought. The European Parliament published research that highlights the very high costs of pesticide exposure, especially in children and pregnant women. Under EU law, labeling of foodstuffs would be changed or new limits on pesticide exposure would be a result. The EU would have the UK review its policies for pesticide exposure limits by next year. The study estimates that pesticides cost the EU 125 billion euros a year from damage brought on by the toxins. The report even emphasized the growing evidence finding insecticide residue causes brain damage, and IQ level reduction. Concerns are being raised that the chemicals could pose a significant threat to reproductive health and cause cancer. Research from the European Parliament is more of a review on current scientific evidence on the impact of organic food on the human body. Previous attempts to examine pesticides effects have ignored research, bringing major concerns that there is an insufficient amount of regulation of insecticides. The study was conducted by the European Parliament's Scientific Foresight Unit headed by the Swedish University of Agricultural Scientists. The report states, At least 100 different pesticides are known to cause adverse neurological effects in adults, and all of these substances must therefore be suspected of being capable of damaging developing brains as well. At least 100 different pesticides are known to cause adverse neurological effects in adults, and all of these substances must therefore be suspected of being capable of damaging developing brains as well. Such adverse effects are likely to be lasting and one main outcome is cognitive deficits, often expressed in terms of losses of IQ points. The combined evidence suggests that current exposures to certain pesticides in the EU may cost at least 125 billion euros per year as calculated from the loss of lifetime income due to the lower IQs associated with prenatal exposure. The calculation is then described as almost certainly which underestimates it as it doesn't take into consideration that pesticides contribute to diabetes, certain types of cancer and Parkinson's disease. Researchers advise that exposure to non-organic vegetables and fruit should be taken seriously by children and pregnant women. The report states that The evidence reviewed in this report shows that a decreased exposure from the general population is desirable from a human health perspective in light of the findings from epidemiological studies that indicate very high costs of current levels of pesticide exposures. The report states that past attempts to examine risks were overlooking epidemiological studies, which look over the health of the populations, rather than limiting themselves to lab trials. Of major concern, these risk assessments disregard evidence from epidemiological studies that show negative effects of low-level exposure to organophosphate insecticides on children's cognitive development, despite the high costs of IQ losses to society, it states. Concerns are being raised pertaining to the risk assessment of pesticides being inadequate, and that examinations for any increase in cancer had been improperly examined, as well as the ramifications of the nervous system and body hormones. There are concerns that this risk assessment is inadequate at addressing mixed exposures, specifically for carcinogenic effects as well as endocrine disrupting effects and neurotoxicity.